Hey guys, it's the one and only Bougie Marie. Hey, your boy Jay, and today we're reacting to when your boss try to talk to you about your ratchet. Now, before we get to the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe before you're fucking taking. And I just say to the video, please. Excuse me, sorry to break. Just the man I was looking for, good. You take me out real quick. Hey, nigga, you know they talking about firing you. Hey, they like when I say every day in my job, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Every, at least somebody in in every department where I work at, and I think it's what, like about ten departments. Everybody, either somebody's on a final or they got written up. Everybody that I fuck with at work has already quit, and the people that are still there, all of us on our finals, including me. I got like three friends left there, bro. Like, yeah. it's time to go. Hey. I was thinking Cause you got my name on the line You fucking my shit up I'm gonna let you know how I play I'm a big dog player What I tell you when you came in Don't play with me nigga Play with your bitch You stealing niggas lunches from the fridge <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you stole somebody's lunch I was there I was like yo That's mad wild <laughs> He got me messed up so, I know somebody at our job used to do that for real? Yeah, before I got there, they used to tell me how some guy used to just steal people's lunches and somebody walked in on the end lunch and they said they just, he just, they just started fighting. That's I'm like, bro, Damn. if you can't afford, you know, just, just say, hey, you make like the next one, you feel me? Maybe you can't afford it. You know, keep it going to the store, you never know. <laughs> but if he was doing that just to do it on purpose, then that's a whole different situation. Yeah. That same in the smashed potatoes and shit, that was mine. And I don't see what the problem is. Why you gotta steal lunches from the fridge and shit? You get paid weekly, nigga. But for you to just take matters into your own hands, man. Suzanne says she want her whipped cream back, too. There's tons of reasons I can fire you right now. That's just one of them. I don't know. Got some bitches coming through the office. Stop by and see a nigga. I am not. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Upstairs, they be doing the do. You got upstairs? Yeah, we got upstairs. Let me find out. Yeah, we got upstairs. Tag team. A lot of people don't know. Tag team, you feel me? What? Y'all be having females messed up. No, we don't. I show my queen. As you should. Not. Wow. I be saying you don't see Got your paperwork here, with it. got your whole little life right here in my hands, man. I can fire you, you won't be able to pay rent, you'll get put out the crib. I can do whatever the fuck I want right now. I mean, like Mr. Tommy said, say I quit. And so they can fuck the EDD. But you know the crazy thing is? Yeah. You know when you quit from your job and you put where you work at, they, you know they call your job and your job actually says if you get it. And a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Unemployment, like I'm so serious. Like a lot of people on my job that have got fired, I mean that uh that got fired or because when you get fired you get um unemployment. I mean it goes both ways. But at the end of the day, they call your job and your job can either say yes or no. And my job, they like saying no. Yeah. Like, and that's what a lot of people really don't know. Like that's why it doesn't go through because your job is the one saying that you don't get it. I'll be damn. I'll be right in there, like, oh, so you gonna say you no? Beg me to stay, nigga. No, I'm playing. I ain't gonna do that. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do with you, man. Cause see, it's hard. That's one problem. We can make it past that. Problem I can't make it past is you keep looking at a nigga. You keep staring at a nigga. We got these cubicles for a reason, man. That's to block where motherfuckers are. You find a way to somehow stand up and stare at a nigga looking at me all damn day. If you don't want to work, just go get coffee for niggas. You know what I mean? Come check me out, boss man. You need some coffee? Go check out Suzanne. Suzanne, what you want? You want just black? That's how you stay in this motherfucker. It ain't about the work. It's about the networking. Rubbing shoulders, rubbing elbows with niggas. Talking amongst these motherfucking you know what I mean? Speaking their language. Why you think I'm here? I 
been speaking the language. Not with the school to speak the language. Yes, you can be terminated in an instant. See, I get down with them motherfuckers, man. I've been doing this shit. And she wanted me to give you all that old bullshit where since you met the requirements for the termination policy, no, fuck all that, nigga. If I want to fire you, I'm going to fire you. If I think you're a bitch ass nigga, I'm going to tell you to your face. And if you know if you get fired, you ain't get your last paycheck. Yeah, we got a little policy joint in there mixed up where we just basically finesse things out there. He's sick. He said he he just farted. I think that was a chair. Should be ain't enough for real. Go right back to the company. We put some nice shit in here. That's on TV and shit. Yeah, you listening now, huh? You acting like we ain't blessed, nigga. Like, niggas is mad, bro. They, we got catering and shit. We got granola bars when we come in, nigga. Why can't you just get your act right? Grab some trail mix and get your act right. Because, nigga, you want to be Mr. Oh, Mr. Hip Hop. Mr. Oh, I'm a thug on a job. No, nigga, you got to be one of them camouflage, nigga. If you really want to make it real with this job, you have to go home, you have to study your white man. If you want to perfect it, really hone in on it. Look at other niggas. Look at other niggas' as influence. Matter of fact, I got one for you. Go home and you Google Brian Gumbel. He got that shit with him. He'll show you how to be a white man. I see how Suzanne... Suzanne still talk to me like I'm one of them. She really think I'm in there. Mm. Well, that's because I played a part when you been posed to. Suzanne, no, I eat that good, you know what I mean? I'll be in there, I'll be eating the little plates of cheese and shit with them when we got the catering and shit. They think I'm just, you know what I mean, some regular Mr. Rogers ass nigga. And I like it. I like it. I've been to a couple of their little get togethers, their little business parties and shit, man. They be having wine, they be getting niggas sauce stuff. But you still gotta stay conform, stay in character. Gathering a get together this afternoon. Now, if you wanna get your image right, you should probably attend that motherfucker. Like I said, you keep saying, network with a few of them motherfuckers. Talk to them. There's a nigga named Brad down the hall. Talk yeah. to him. Hi, firm grip. Pleasure to meet you. That right there will spark up a motherfucking crazy conversation with one of them joints. Make it till you make it, then you get in one of these positions like I'm oh, is. That's when you let your dick hang. Let your nuts hang. Low key? You gotta let it hang. It's like I'm about to do right now. I mean, they do gotta breathe sometimes. Yeah. Let niggas know I ain't taking shit from no motherfucking body. But you gotta work that at that point, nigga. You can't just be walking around here thinking you motherfucker. Michael Jordan, you ain't did shit, nigga. You ain't sent me that fax from two weeks ago, nigga. I'm still waiting on that fax. Nice to work for me. Nice to me. Yeah, we're gonna make a few changes. We're gonna be running through a few new employees. We're gonna have to get rid of any bad baggage. And that's when she started talking about you. So I said, I'm like, oh, that's my man. That's my man. Make me a man of my word. I need you to show her that I'm I'm, I'm putting nice niggas on the field. I'm Chuck No. I'm Bill Belichick out this motherfucker. <laughs> Sit down, nigga. Sit down. But do you be washing up? Huh? Yeah, some niggas be saying you be stinking. I can't uh, discriminate. Shit. Damn. Scary. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! My goodness. 
You just gonna have to throw the hallelujah on there? Yes, baby. Just no more need to pray. And some holy water and some soap. And some deodorant. <laughs> Against a stinky motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes they gotta resort to other shit. That's why I'm thinking, are they making these excuses up? Is this nigga really a bad worker or do they just want him out because he smell like shit? I done built this shit. This is an empire now, nigga. You niggas call me Lou Escobar. I'm not even back lying. Yeah, one customer, I mean, one customer, one associate that shit it everywhere. On himself or in the bathroom? Both. What do you eat? What is it, he or she? Oh, the girl. What did she eat? She was older, though, so. Oh. Oh, that's why. I thought he was really like, talking about, like, our age. Or, like, what the fuck did she eat? Did somebody put laxative in her drink or something? I should put some in yours. I triple dog. Ooh, I dare you do that. Bad. I dare you. Bad. Oh, oh that's yeah, on that's camera, too. Hey, we're going to have a call. Suzanne, have a yeah. conference right, between right, all three of us. They're going to talk about some discipline shit, some correctional shit. But, yeah. Um, your last paycheck will be collected. We'll be taking that 4236. It was supposed to be paid out to you. That's going to come straight to the company. That's a little bit of money, too, man. You wasn't getting shit. You were still clocking in Facebook. That's terrible. 4236, you broke yourself. But, yeah, that money's going to go. Directly the record to the company, the proceeds will get distributed due to all that bullshit. But yeah, you can get the fuck up out of here, man. Imagine all that talk is just a fire in their face. That's what they do. Hey, they try like, like to, you, man. to keep you Brand down, and then they talk to you. Nah, this thing was gonna say the goal. Oh, that'd be me. When I went and got my ride up, I said, "Like, sit down." I said, no, what I need to sit down for. Like, obviously, I still got to finish my shift. Like, I can't go home. I ain't want my money. Facts. Facts. Like, Facts. for real. Facts. I'd be like, what, what? bro, when I tell you my job don't like me, it's the fact that they wrote me up for being on my phone. But when I tell you everybody name, I'm going to be on their phone, including the manager. I'm like, y'all petty. Y'all petty now. Like, you write me up for being on my phone. But we got associates answering the phone on the floor in front of you, and you're not doing it. That's because I'm black. I'm playing the race car all the time. Like, because, yep, because some of them managers in there is racist. Some of them associates in there is racist. But, um, yeah, it's been a money game. This one. And the one only Bougie Marie. We got Auntie First Jack too. Please put a comment down below so you guys like, comment, subscribe, put on post notifications. And don't forget to follow our social medias. They'll be in the description down below as well. <laughs> sure. Here you poo. Can't see the camera anymore. Right? Goodbye. <laughs> you you could you could you could do it. Period. You you could do it. Poo. Mm -hmm. You wanna do it with me? One, two. Three. A curve. <laughs> we out. We out. You're not even pressing it. We out.